Hello, uh, it's Robert at Dead Art Studios and I'm working on one of my paintings tonight, this little purple one here. Just taking some kitchen roll and cleaning off a bit of dirty paint from the tube. And this one started off as just a purple and violet abstract. And I've been slowly scratching away and texturizing it and trying to create an image of some kind out of the total abstract at the beginning. And I've got a sort of a horizon emerging here at this angle and a couple of figures seem to be moving along. So I'm going to try and work on that a little bit tonight and see if I can bring a little bit more life to it. And I don't really want to do too much in terms of defining the figures. Just a little bit more than they are at the moment, so. a little bit of work on those. Anyway, I hope you're doing well today and you've had a nice day and that you're managing to relax a little bit. Wherever you might be watching this, and it's night time here, and it's pretty dark and rainy outside. Now that's a little bit too much for me up there. So let's have a scratch here. I'm working on this, it's not totally dry. I imagine if I press my finger on it, I'd get a big dollop of purpley blue paint on me, but it's fine for this purposes. And I don't want it too dry because obviously I'm trying to scratch back at what I'm working on. Um, let's have a look here, bring this down here a bit more. I think this is some kind of light source up here, uh, but I don't want it too much like a big round sun or anything like that, so, I mean, I'm having a nice cup of cocoa as well while I, while I do this, I like to drink cocoa in the evenings. I used to drink a lot of coffee, but it sent me a bit wild. I used to get headaches and things, so cocoa it is for me these days. Let's bring a bit more yellow out up here. This is a new experience for me, painting and recording myself like this. I do time lapses, which I've been putting on Instagram, and they'll go on here on YouTube Shorts as well. And the entire session will go on as a time lapse. On the YouTube Shorts and on Instagram, if you're over there. But I'm just going to chat a little bit and do some real time 
live painting this evening. And when this started, I really don't have any ideas for what I'm going to do. I don't set out and say I'm going to paint this or paint that. I've got ideas of textures and techniques and using the OSB board that I'm using here, the building board that you make sort of loft extensions and attic extensions out of. Uh, and this has got a lot of sort of crisscrossed wood compressed together with the glue. And it creates an interesting texture and it's a nice strong board and painted on canvas and for some reason I'm not like keen on the way it flexes for me. I might try it again. I've not really got anything against it. Just thought I'd try painting on board and I seem to like painting on board more. And the way most of these painting sessions go is I start off all calm and relaxed. Then I decide I really don't like what I've painted. And then I kind of attack it. And it usually ends up being something completely different. That can be a good thing. Well, I hope it is anyway. So, these figures, let's have a look. Are they figures? To me, they're figures. Just like someone larger here, walking, slightly hunched. I don't know, some kind of partner or other figure. And I've done quite a lot of walking in my life out in the countryside. And yeah, one person always seems to end up out on the front on their own, and then one sort of lagging behind. I don't know, I'm trying to think of times when I walk as a group, but even when I walk with my family, I always, I always end up slightly in front. But it was always me at the back when I was younger. And we used to do hikes. some black on it and when the black comes out that's when that's when I know things have took a turn for the worse I decided it needs the black and I haven't used brush on any of this and and this current technique I'm using I've not been using really been using brushes at all maybe a little and for one of my other pieces that I'm doing I will be using a brush I think because I think that one needs it then I want this to go this way the challenging thing about painting with a camera is you can't just move everything around you've got to keep it one place especially for the time lapse it's a little bit of yellow down here I'm going to try and bring that out a bit more interesting right there's a bit of yellow down here as well that we can do is after I've finished with colour I get a bit of paper towel just wipe the oil off 
and then I have to have a good clean up at the end with solvents. But for now, I'll just wipe it off with a bit of paper. All right, I've got some blue. I'm not mixing colours much either for this. I'm just getting them on. And really, whatever approach you decide to take for any of your art, it's kind of what defines. Kind of what defines it, really. Hmm. Not sure what I think about that. Let's go down here. I think with this blue, I just want to darken some of the blue areas I've already got. I think I'll come back to that top bit and thin that out a bit. I think I sort of want, almost want to make a vignette in the edges a little bit. And another thing that's interesting about painting for camera is that I've got to remember to speak really clearly. And that's not mumbling. So if I start mumbling, while I'm painting, I apologise. I probably do a lot of mumbling when I'm painting just by myself. Alright, so I'm dark there. I'll bring that in a ring with a bit of green lock. So that makes it more interesting. Let's wipe that off. Wipe that off the knife. Let's see what I can do up here. And I have a metal knitting needle that I use for creating a different texture. that I like a bit more and we can pull some of the yellow into the blue and make a green and yeah have to be careful for it not to get too muddy it's a little muddy there but you know you can always come back and add more layers can't you and scratch back so I don't need to worry too much okay I like that better now hmm And I don't think this is going to be a long session, but I don't think I'll film it all live here. Um, but I think I'm just going to basically get some, try and get ideas onto the board now, because I've got all the texture and colours sorted out and the sort of general composition. There's a theme of colours that I sort of where they are and what's going on I like all that and I would say that I'm painting abstract but I like to try and pull something out of, of the abstract so that you do get a hint of something happening or going on but not too much you know I want you to be able to use your imagination and look at it and figure things out for yourself you know interpret them for yourself but on the other hand I don't just want pure expressionism, although I do like abstract expressionism. I feel like I just want to do a little bit more than that in terms of putting some more focused meaning other than just pure intent to evoke you know, sort of an abstract emotional feeling which you get from you know Rothko and Pollock and stuff I enjoy all that stuff uh, but I think I want to operate slightly more in the realms of actual imagery I suppose Right, that's 
it might define here. Look, if I can bring this some kind of a bit of a waistline in here, does that work? Yeah, it kind of does. And I'm not that keen on this up here. I'll just, I'll just scratch that out a bit. I can always come back to that. Put a bit of black around there. I think this is like a collar. Hmm. I suppose we need some. legs here it's like a yellow trench coat isn't it draped over the back right I'm not happy with this one this one's going to take some more work hmm. Let's pull that off quite a lot of that off Damn. the mumbling again but I mean, it's, it's difficult when you're literally trying to create the painting talk to sort of semi imaginary audience or in my case totally imaginary at this point since it's a new channel uh -huh. right, I pulled a lot of that off and I think I'm gonna have to have another go at putting that down again So we do that now. Let's do that now. And then maybe we'll finish the video for today. Get the old lemon yellow back out. Now, I think it's gonna be a matter of first cleaning out the black that I've got on my yellow paint. And then, just slapping it on and hoping for the best. Hmm. Let's have a look now up here, look. Yes, interesting. A bit better than before. Also, while we're here, there's too much paint. I've got the basis of something there now. And I'll probably let that dry before I work on that some more. And I think I'll carry on a little bit longer, but in terms of the video with you guys here now, I think I'll leave it for today. And thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll drop by again soon. And this is Robert at Dead Art Studios, and have a good evening.